Hawaii, the all 50th inspiring state in the US, is much more than a tropical beach paradise. Located in the Pacific Ocean, just west of Los Angeles, Hawaii consists of six main islands and is home to a traveler's paradise for both relaxation and adventure. With a tropical rainforest and stunning views around every bend, there is an infectious aloha spirit. Highlights include some famous shaved ice, postcard perfect beaches with crashing waves, swaying palm trees, and a surface nirvana. Today, I'm meeting up with Chef Gio Mazzarella. Gio will help me seek out Pokey for today's food adventures so I can head back to the kitchen and work with the culinary staff to create a new dish for Waterside. The chic and spacious main dining room on the Crystal Serenity. You said to me, John, when you come to Hawaii, I'm going to take you on a Pokey tour. Count on it. I'll live up to that promise. No better place than Yama's Fish Market. It's an yeah. institution. Been here since the 80s. Yeah, this what? is the grab and go. Grab it's a destination go. for all the locals. It's yeah. a must stop for poke. Oh, really? Hawaiian yeah. flair, that yeah. plate lunch. Uh, but really, the variety. Hey. It's a local go to, it's an institution. They're known for their poke, most especially, aside from just the ahi. Now, what I want you to try is a little bit of wasabi masago, a little touch of fish eggs for crunch and color, Yeah. as well as the original, you know, the Hawaiian style, little sesame seeds and green onion. But you can't go wrong with that limu taco. It's gonna be fresh seaweed, tastes like the sea, and it's a Hawaiian octopus. You'll love all of that. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, let's get some. Mm. Oh, that's just... Absolutely. Well, you think that ahi is good. I have some more for you to try, oh, but with only, some of that. Only if you insist, you know. Oh my God, come on. So this is Nico's 38. This is it, right here on the pier. Fresh fish auction. Doesn't get cleaner than that. Well, John, your vacation wouldn't be complete without a cocktail, and there's no better, no quintessential than the Blue Hawaiian. Blue Hawaiian? Give that a shot. Mmm. Oh, this is better than any warm brown beard I've ever had. <laughs> Nico's, 38. They do poke bowls, build your own, and it's dependent on what they catch fresh here at the fish auction. So what we got in the bowl here? And what you have here is a little bit of uh, furikake salmon. So it's a Japanese condiment, nori, bonito, sesame seeds, yeah. good sea salt. Mm. Oh. This is your ahi deluxe. A little bit of candle, kukui nut, fresh seaweed. It's all about the limu. Ooh, and of course, critical component is that Hawaiian sea salt. Added crunch. Mm just the right level of salinity, too. You have your masago, a little bit of mayo for added fat. It balances out beautifully. And I know how you feel about the masago. Mm. And how about the whole all together? Fresh, it's clean? impeccably fresh. This is some of the best tuna I've ever had in my life. Here's the thing, I've had my cocktail, we've been to two places, I need a lesson. I need to see how it's made so I can go on the ship and cook for all the passengers. It sounds fantastic. I think we can do that. You are the best. Let's go.
This is what it's all about. Very simple preparation. It's the poor man's and the lazy man's sashimi. Simple is always better. Fresh fish, cubed. That's what poke means quite literally. And all you have to do is accentuate it with just a touch of sesame oil, shoyu, some green onion, some Maui sweet onion, and can't forget about the kukui nut as well. And that's all it is to make poke? In its simplest form, absolutely. Let's make it. Gio, thank you for being such a wonderful guide. It's great to see you again. Cheers. Very welcome. Cheers. Mm. That's just delicious. It's time to head back to the Crystal Serenity. Today, helping me assemble this trio of pokey will be executive chef Werner Brenner. He has been sharing his culinary excellence with Crystal Cruises for more than 19 years. He's worked with many of the world's renowned chefs, such as Anton Mazerman, and every day he lifts up the culinary staff. Also helping us design this recipe will be chef de cuisine, David George. He brings 21 years of culinary expertise to each plate he designs. Joining me today for the taste test will be chef Danny from Umi Uma and Sushi Bar. Umi Uma and Sushi Bar serves the Japanese Peruvian inspired food in a beautifully designed restaurant The sushi bar serves the freshest, most delectable sushi and sashimi dishes in Nobu's signature style. Danny, thank you so much for coming down for a taste test. As you look at the first spoon, you're going to see ahi tuna, and that's paying homage to the traditional Hawaiian pokey. And we start with the basic taste, what belongs to the island. We took some local Maui onion, added a small amount of sesame seed oil, some soy sauce, and some scallion. And then we finally topped that off with some microgreen cilantro. It's delicate, and I think it's a great way to start the journey. Looks so good. Wow. As you look on the second spoon, you'll notice it's king crab. We took the shells of the king crab and we made a beautiful broth with some ginger and scallions. We coated them, placed them on the spoon, and you'll notice we've topped it with some salmon eggs. The goal for this is as you take a bite of it the eggs will explode and you'll get that lovely flavor of the ocean and because it's crystal we topped it with some gold leaf wow i like the way the gold leaves on top of that thank you mm, excellent as we look at the last spoon this was my favorite one to create You'll see that we've got some hamachi. It's been slightly cured. On the spoon, we have a bonito dressing to add that nice smokiness. 
At the top of the spoon, you'll see there's a little bit of soy glaze, and the goal for this is as you eat it, it coats the top of your lip, and it's sort of a, a good night kiss because you'll pucker. There's a little bit of nori on there, and some crispy leeks for crunch. Oh, wow. That's crispy leeks and nori. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely get the sauce on my lips, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think that this dish should be served tonight in Waterside? Definitely, yeah. I'm happy. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs>